I think you know this view if you've seen the Joe Mez videos. If you haven't, this is my parents' house, Plano, Texas. Just got back and I'm doing a little van cleaning and some projects right now. Uh, <laughs> it's under the mattress. Here's it? my dad. <laughs> We're replacing the lights and moving different. the sub to the back so I got more room in the closet and adding <laughs> this cabinet that will hold the toiletries, spices, stuff like that. Little things that are taking up a lot of room in the cabinets. I'll show you the process. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's from Vietnam. Bribed with a dime to vacuum. You're getting a hang of that, huh? <laughs> yeah! Get it done! Okay, so where's that thicker one? And we got Alyssa inside. Going through all the clothes, toiletries, all the stuff that was in the van, trying to narrow it down, make some more room, because what did you say the closet was? An unpleasant? It wasn't a good user experience. User experience. <laughs> so trying to narrow down what's in the van. How many sundresses do I need? <laughs> doubles of everything. We're only going to have one cord for everything. There's no backup cords because otherwise there's too many cords in our lives. Look, you guys, you can see the floor again. <laughs> this Damn is man. the last step. The electronics. The van is packed and we are ready to head to Waco in the morning. One more step though before we head to Waco. I gotta go get a wisdom teeth pulled, so... Wish me luck. Wisdom, a wisdom teeth. A wisdom, a wisdom teeth <laughs> pulled out. Tooth. One is called a tooth. A tooth. A wisdom <laughs> tooth pulled. You didn't even know why I was waiting for that. No, I didn't. It. So it's definitely growing crooked. Okay, so I just finished up at the dentist. And turns out I have perennial coronitis, I think is what she said. I got a nice cleaning. They look great. But this, look at the back lower gum. You can see how inflamed it is. That is what that is. I guess the wisdom teeth, wisdom tooth is starting to come in and it created like a flap in the gum and there's bacteria getting in that flap. And apparently that's why I'm in so much pain is because it's infected and swollen and it's not actually the wisdom tooth itself that's hurting me. I'm getting on antibiotics. She gave me the prescription. I'm headed to go pick it up now before we leave town for Waco. So I'm actually gonna be getting to Waco sooner. Since I'm not getting this out today, we gotta clear the infection first and maybe get the wisdom tooth taken out next week instead. So here we go. Going to get some pain pills and some antibiotic bacteria cleansing whatever pill and head towards Waco hopefully pain-free all right Alyssa tell them what just happened we're editing in the parking lot and someone backed into us only the third time in the last couple months she was having a really bad day though So slight setback, but we are back on the road to Waco now. And I was just thinking that this is another thing that is tour life 101 is things like this are so, it wasn't necessarily upsetting that she hit me. It was more upsetting that now I have to lose the van and my home for a day while it sits in the shop. So these are the kind of things where tour life is difficult because the everyday errands make you set back big time, especially if you wanna right. get to Waco early and practice. 
and like, yeah. yeah that would be frustrating with a normal life but I feel like we can't lose our vehicle for a day and especially if it's overnight if mm -hmm. a if a shop is busy and they need the van overnight then where do I sleep for that night yeah. so stuff like this is very out. difficult you have to make sure that the shops are open and have availability otherwise you know you have nowhere to sleep and and this is something that's really difficult to to convey to them hey I'm only gonna be in town for three days can you squeeze me in that's always a difficult conversation so that was the part that was the most frustrating today and I try to stay calm you did a great job honestly but sometimes tour life strikes a little bit of negativity in but I'm excited to get to the beast and play in the woods that's my favorite part it's watching some discs fly through the woods so let's go throw some shots with my friends all right I just got to Waco I'm gonna go play around with these two Missy and Tina I'm so excited come join us in the woods Just finished my first practice run at Waco, dropping my bag off at the van. I'm gonna go over to the neighbors' houses to go have some lunch. Tour life, Waco edition. Parking lot camping. <laughs> What's the cooking? Hello, welcome to our family style diner. Oh my god, oh country my god. accent. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I think we need double that. All right. Yeah, I'm right. eating too. Yeah, you are? Okay. James, are y'all eating with us? Maybe have a bite? Yes. Okay. All right, yeah, I cooked for five. <laughs> Here we are on hole 10. This is my favorite hole in Texas, probably. <laughs> Playing another practice round with Nate and Jamesy and Jordan. Getting day. ready. Getting ready for Waco. Man, this fairway is so pretty. All right, so we were just cooking up some pork tenderloin pasta over here. And what happened? Chancellor brought us <laughs> pork chops. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. What are you doing? What up? What up? I'm just Waco parking lot pimping right now. Waco? Were you just fishing? Yeah. I saw you I walk by like with five. your pole. You did? Yeah, I got like my butt on muddy. Okay, muddy butts. Muddy butts. Catching fish. Shorts muddy butts. Shorts are ruined. Muddy butts. Wow, killing it. Thanks for the pork chop. Yeah, was it good? Yes. So after we ate, Tina and I jumped on Smashbox for a little bit before we would head over to the Prodigy house and play some games with all those guys. What? What is going on? <laughs> we just got a phone call to come play some poker. It's going down. Woo! Kev Jones! Hogan! <laughs> this is Simon's secret talent that shouldn't be secret anymore. Not so secret. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh. If you run the table on film right now, I'll give you five bucks. Really? Yeah. That's sadly not really a challenge on this table. That's so good. You used to hear? Yeah. I'll make a cane. Can I get another shirt? You just gave me a shirt for me to sing it, bro. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be tricky, though. Yeah, no shit. No. Oh, so, uh, you really need to underneath. So we're missing. Ooh. Wow, this, the spin here reacts so pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What'd you bet him? Five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Scoop. Yeah, buddy. No hands. Yeah. Nine, ten, wow. Jack. So a ten wins. Ten, 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 ten clean, 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 dude. That's dangerous. You got a backdoor flush, so does he. Oh! oh man. Man. 
It's six. It's not even six, and that's yeah. it. Heart. A heart? No, you have a queen heart. Ace. Nice hand. Wow. Wow. Okay. Snake Rick. Rebuy, 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 rebuy. <laughs> Dude. Good hand. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we took their money. Yeah, I think we went one, two on them. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's day one of the Waco Annual Charity Open. We got Alyssa working on her camera stuff, getting ready to go shoot. And I'm about to make a little pre-round smoothie while I watch the men and then the girls go after. I'm still trying to get used to the morning routine. How many meals do I eat? What do I eat? What do I do with my time? So I think I've been doing a smoothie while I watch the guys and then right before I play eating like a little meal Jordan which is James's girlfriend has been making lots of food and so she made little breakfast tacos I'm gonna bring those in my bag for the round but I wanted to let you guys know what morning looks like on tour life right before a round getting stuff ready we showered this morning we, we did shower good. we went to any time there's nobody in there and they assured us that it was clean. <laughs> so we're showered up, getting some food, gonna go watch some golf. I'll show you guys some highlights of one of the feature cards. Look at my whole team over here warming up. Hey Adam. Hello. Hello. Who's ready to play? Hey, do my wife Kelsey over Your wife Kelsey. Hey Kelsey. <laughs> Last minute game change. I have been using the BX2. I think I'm gonna be switching into the CS2 today. There's plenty enough room, actually perfect enough room for how many discs I'm carrying and all of my putting putters and throwing putters. And the side pockets, I'm going with a water bottle in this one, towel and rain finder in this one. And then I'm gonna put all my snacks in the back pocket and like phone and minis up here and keys. We'll see how it works today. There's one more thing I do wanna add about going to the smaller bag today. I think that it's gonna help in decision-making, shot selection, um, you know, narrowing my discs down and my molds down. If I'm ever in between two discs, that adds a little bit of uncertainty to your shot. So having a smaller amount of discs is actually gonna be beneficial and more it's gonna allow the shot selection to be more accurate and more confident. So I'm excited to see how this plays out today. Tina's letting me use this to go get some. <laughs> We're out here at Waco and Paige is getting disc golf strong. There you go. Gotta get ready for the day. That was a rough one for me. <laughs> and there's people everywhere. Like I told you, camping lot parking, there's people everywhere. So I literally just came down to the river to get a moment by myself. But now you guys are joining me, so hello. <sighs> That's one of the hardest parts actually about the tour life is having time to think and just be with yourself. So I'm gonna lay here for a little bit and think about my round, what I can improve on. And something I've been practicing is to name three good things that happened. 
Don't think so much about the bad things and what to improve on. Think about what are three good things that happened. Just put you in a better headspace, especially going into round two. I'm going to need to be in a better mental state. I think that was a lot of the problem today was my head game. So my emotional game, really. I let the emotions get the best of me and did not put up a good score. So I am fighting an uphill battle. I'm down by eight strokes and I only have two rounds to correct it. So I'm gonna lay here for a minute, think about some stuff, and then you guys can join me over with the friends where I'll go put a smile back on and go eat some food. So I'm gonna lay here and pout for a moment and try to be constructive about this. <laughs> what else you need, Nate? Um, <laughs> you got garlic? I got garlic. Give me the garlic. Alright. <laughs> you guys almost ready for food? Yeah. Coming. Stoked the table's food. made. Is it Perkins Roadside Diner? Yeah. Yeah. New view. Alyssa is still editing. <laughs> but over here, we are a plan. Puerto Rico! <laughs> And Pippi came over. Pippi, can you sit? Can you sit? <laughs> Whoa, Missy, you got a page for your scoozy? Is that a page for your scoozy? Yeah. Sick. <laughs> Pippi, you want to be my partner? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Delivery to the van on Kendrick. Oh my God. <laughs> Do it, Jordan. Uh oh, something fell over there. You don't need that. Have you or have you not ever cut pizza with scissors? Leave a comment below. What up, guys? We're at the Par Save Productions house. About to record some commentary on round one. Make sure you guys check it out on their YouTube channel. Let's get this thing going, right? Nate's got to make his round at 11.50. Currently, it's 10.05. This, this is, is how this commentary is life, goes. Guys. This is what happens. Trying to grow the sport. Yep. Bring it to you guys via them. Thanks for shooting and Always. editing. Anytime. All right. Let's get this thing rolling. Most of these players are going to be choosing to attack here. Final going with a backhand. The, the thought is, do you go towards that bowl down there? Or do you throw a slower speed disc and just place one on the fairway? Man, that's a pretty big miss right there from Vino. That was left side and it got redirected even further left. What, you want to be in this one? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how do you do this? I just invited myself. If it looks like we're crying, it's because we were. Mm -hmm. And I just realized that this is vlog material, probably. So we woke up and immediately Nate's like, hey, let's go. We got to do commentary. Par Save Productions needed us to come over and do commentary for round one. And in the middle of round one, we got a bunch of messages that round three is canceled. So round two will be our last round. And since then, we then recorded the back nine. And since then, we got another word that all disc golf tournaments are canceled through the end of April mm -hmm. till May. So we were just having discussions on where do we go? What do we, what do, we do? do? People that live in vans and actually let me show you how many van lifers are gonna be affected by this. This whole parking lot is full of traveling disc golfers who now have one purpose and that is to find somewhere to put our vans until this pandemic ceases. So it brings up a lot of interesting conversations that get emotional <laughs> you know where do we feel the most comfortable where are we going to have the best resources 
And how do we get to hug our moms? <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> how do we all get to be with the people we love? And be safe. And when Alyssa's family is 18 hours away. <laughs> all of a sudden tears are involved in this conversation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we got a few hours before the round starts. So trying to calm down. And just think about this round. Because there is one more mission before we decide what to do with our future so I need to eat some food take some pills for my teeth it's getting better you don't show them I showed them already <laughs> <laughs> but it's getting better I feel better but I need to eat some food so I can take some pills and maybe stop crying and stop crying <laughs> calm down and get ready for my last 18 holes for the next month, I guess, of competitive disc golf. Wow. I find myself eight off the lead. And if I want a chance at winning this tournament, I need to shoot well under par, probably eight to 10 under par. I think it is doable, but I'm gonna have to shoot nearly perfect. Uh, if you guys have seen disc golf played on the back nine, at Waco you have to throw perfect shots even if you're this much off you can still manage to cart a bogey um, so I have to hit these fairways and some long putts look who we saw rolling up on a skateboard your 2020 Waco champions Most alcohol I've tasted in the last however long. I'm sorry that you barely have any barefoot bubbly left. But. We're not supposed to be hugging though. <laughs> Look at all these disc golfers that don't know where to go. I was saying it's so much fun to commentate with you and that uh, maybe we'll have a job after we uh, retire from the game of disc golf and we'll have to commentate on it. Now Par Save is over here feeding us, letting us shower, letting us use our Wi-Fi for Alyssa to edit, and putting together the final round of the Waco Annual Charity Open. Yeah, baby. Okay, so now that Waco is done, we've finished our last duty of commentating. We are trying to decide where are we gonna go from here. And while we have this discussion, we are going to enjoy this pecan pie that some man, some very, very nice man in the orange shirt, whoever you are, <laughs> thank you for this the best pie I've ever had in my whole life. So this is gonna come in handy as the grocery stores are running out of food. This is gonna last me for a long time. Thank you very much. Okay, so I definitely underestimated how good that pie was and I definitely did not have self-control. So the pie didn't even last until we got here to Arkansas. We have a friend who has a lake house here, so we're riding out the next few days and developing a plan while we're in limbo here. Um, so yeah, I think that this concludes this vlog. Maybe I will do another one, but I'm not sure if anything exciting is gonna happen. Probably just a lot of putting practice and uh, you know, working on website stuff. But yeah, if you like this sort of video, let me know below if I should continue to do some vlogs type stuff and thank my Patreons below. They are the reason that I even tried out a vlog format. So thank you guys so much for the idea and the support. You guys are making this content possible for me and uh, you know, also just helping me through this uh, time financially too. Um, and definitely Discraft as well. Thank you so much for all the support over this time frame. I know I've gotten a lot of messages. How do we support you? Discraft just released a few discs, so if you can get your hands on those, check out discraft.com. 
If they are all sold out though, check out my website, pagepierce.com. I got a bunch of discs, hats, shirts, hoodies, and actual actually April 1st releasing a bunch more product that is for the spring release. So you'll see some dry fits and uh, short sleeves and stuff like that. So that is how you support me. And if you already are, I just want to say thank you so much. This is so amazing that I found this community in life. You know, I, I was telling my friends the other day that like disc golf is the perfect community to be in, in a time like this. Everyone's just helping each other and you know, seeing all the posts on Facebook about people coming together, it's just, you know, I'm not surprised, but again, just like so grateful to be in this community. So thank you guys all for tuning in and, uh, you know, showing support in these hard times. And if you guys wouldn't mind, it only takes a couple seconds, please hit subscribe and hit the bell for alerts. It really helps my channel grow and it helps you know, with the views and to, you know, make future content like this. So it only takes a few seconds. Please go ahead and do that after you watch this video and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you on a course somewhere soon, hopefully.